I am Usha Patak. Elders, please accept my respect and love to youngers. Words are categorized according to their function in a sentence, which we call parts of speech. In this episode, we discuss the parts of speech. Parts of speech. Speech is the expression of thoughts and feelings in a word, which are categorized in accordance with their syntactic function in a sentence. These categories are called the parts of speech. There are 10 parts of speech. It should be noted that a word must fall in a category and all the categories must be counted. Hence, there are 10 categories, not less, not more. Whoever categories less than 10 are perhaps in the wrong. The parts of speech are article, noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, participle, adverb, conjunction, preposition, and interjection. Let us take some example. S examples number one, water the roses. Example number two, take some water. Example number three, a water bird. In example number one, water is a verb. In example number two, it is a noun and in example number three, water is an adjective or a noun used as an adjective. A word belongs to which parts of a speech can be ascertained only by its uses in a sentence and not in isolation since the same word can be used as more than one part of a speech as we see in the preceding example. Now article. An article is simply a connection word in a sentence. These are three in number, a, an and the. Most people believe they know their correct uses, but in reality, most mistakes are committed in their uses. Now, noun. Any word that can be used as name is noun. For example, George, man, apple and truth. Take a sentence to understand better. The howling of the wolf filled the fog with terror. In this sentence, howling is the name of an action. Wolf is the name of an animal. Fog is the name of multitude. Terror is the name of a feeling. So, howling, wolf, fog, terror are all nouns. Now, pronoun. Pro is the prefix of a noun to form a word pronoun. Pro means for, in instead of, a word that is used in place of a noun is pronoun. For example, Radha is absent in her class because she is ill. Hence, she is used to avoid the repetition of a noun. Now, adjective. An adjective is a word that refers to a noun to indicate its quality or to modify it. For example, red rose, where red is an adjective and rose is a noun. Now, verb. A verb is a word that signifies to be, to act 
or acted upon. For example, I am, I eat, I am ruled, etc. Participle. A participle that takes some meaning of the verb. It is derived from. For example, running, eaten, ruled, etc. Adverb. An adverb is a word added to a verb, a participle, an adjective or other adverb, and generally express time, place, degree or manner. For example, running slowly, do the sum quickly, drive carefully, etc. Now preposition. Pre meaning before is prefixed to position to form the word preposition denoting the word which are generally position before a noun a pronoun or their equivalents a preposition is used to express some relation of different things or thought to each other. For example, on the tree, to the lighthouse, under the tree, over the head, etc. Now, conjunction. Con meaning together, prefixed to junction, to form the word conjunction which denotes the words that join together, the words and sentences in construction. For example, Sita and Gita sing a song. I read the text but did not understand, etc. Now, interjection. Inter meaning in between prefixed to junction to form interjection which denotes the word thrown in between words and sentences the words that stand alone independent of the other words or sentences and are uttered merely to indicate some strong or sudden emotion for example Oh, hurrah, etc. Please subscribe my channel, like and share.